हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन नाउ हियर इज द मोस्ट अवेटेड कर्नाटक टीईटी नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस इयर दट इज इयर 2022 सो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर अस टू डिस्कस द सिलेबस एंड एग्जाम पैटर्न फॉर दिस एग्जाम एंड स्टार्ट आवर प्रिपरेशन दिस इज द नोटिफिकेशन व्हिच आई वाज टेलिंग दिस नोटिफिकेशन वाज रिलीज्ड ऑन सितंबर 1 2022 it said that the karnataka teachers eligibility test 2022 you can uh, apply online for this exam from this uh, website of www.schooleducation.karnataka.nic.in and uh, the time period between which you can apply is 1st september to 30th september between this time from 1st september to 30th september you can apply for karnataka tet 2022 examination for this you will have to go to this website and apply online okay they say shikshakara arhata parikshege arji sallisalu ichchisuva abhyarthigalu website nalli needalada suchanegalannu download maadikondu kulankashavagi odi arthaisikondu adarante ಸೂಕ್ತ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಅರ್ಜಿಯನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಲು ತಿಳಿಸಿದೆ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಗವರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನೌ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಹಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ means the syllabus they have not told but then the syllabus is uh, coming the same type of syllabus is coming uh, uh, since years now i have seen a syllabus of uh, 2019 and 2021 also so it is the same syllabus i will discuss that syllabus now in karnataka tet you will have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 i will explain what is paper 1 and paper 2 before that let's see the syllabus of paper 1 you will have six parts in this paper 1 first is the child development and pedagogy the second is your first language and third is your second language then fourth is mathematics fifth is environmental science and sixth is social studies this social studies no it is a replacement of mathematics and environmental science for a visually impaired people means to see for example if one person is there he is visually impaired means he can't see properly properly or he can't see he completely he can't see anything okay he has problem in his eyes then that person he will have to write only social studies no mathematics and environmental science for him or her okay it is like that normal people all should write mathematics and environmental science okay i hope you understood now now these are the six parts of this paper but basically you have five parts till environmental science only for visually impaired people in place of mathematics and environmental science they will write social studies means they will have four parts only in place of mathematics and environmental science they will have social studies only okay now the details of this syllabus and all that no i have a pdf file of that i will uh, upload it in the telegram channel i will give the link of the telegram channel in the description if you have not joined the telegram channel you please join it and you find the syllabus there of this uh, karnataka tet um, people are saying that uh, maybe syllabus will be changed but i am sure that syllabus will not change maybe some minute things may be added or detected deduction is uh, i don't think deduction is possible maybe they will add some very minute things but to start the preparation please don't wait for the new syllabus because the syllabus will be same 99% syllabus will be same so please don't wait to start the preparation just now you start the preparation by seeing this syllabus you follow this syllabus okay so this was your part 1 okay uh, next uh, uh, this is how that paper will be divided child development and pedagogy number of questions will be 30 each question will carry one mark so total marks will be 30 language one will have 30 marks means 30 questions 
language 2 will have 30 questions means again 30 marks maths will have 30 questions means 30 marks because one question is of one mark okay then environmental studies 30 marks now because i told you that social studies is the replacement of maths and environmental studies right and uh, it is the option given for only visually impaired candidates so social studies should have total 60 questions right 30 of maths and 30 of environmental studies should be replaced there so here you will have 60 marks so total number of questions will be 150 and total number of marks will be 150 okay now what type of questions will be asked in the exam all will be multiple choice questions means one question will be there and four answers will be given below in that three will be wrong one will be correct okay you have to choose the right answer from that given four options all the question paper the complete question paper only will be multiple choice questions only okay now let's talk about the paper two now this is the syllabus of paper two of karnataka tet first three parts are same means the child development and pedagogy then language one and language two it is same in fourth part you have mathematics and science mathematics is there physics chemistry and biology this is for science teachers okay then fifth is social studies or social sciences this is for social studies teachers okay so part four is for maths and science teachers and fifth is for social studies okay i'll make things clear more again now see here this is the number of questions and total marks child development and pedagogy you have 30 questions and you have 30 marks language one you have 30 questions you have 30 marks language two you have 30 questions and 30 marks now these three papers no child development and pedagogy and first language and second language they are the compulsory papers what you call in Kannada as a kaddaya papers okay so in this kaddaya patrika or kaddaya papers it is compulsory for everyone to attend these three portions that is the child development and pedagogy first language and second language now the mathematics and science syllabus which i showed you know that is for mathematics and science teacher in this mathematics will be 30 marks science will be 30 marks okay then the other syllabus is for social studies teacher it will be of 60 marks with 60 questions okay so this was all about the paper 2 now there must be a confusion like paper 1 and paper 2 is there who should write and who should not write see here carefully now candidates who plan to teach only the primary classes of class 1 to class 5 they will have to write paper 1 only paper 1 okay candidates who plan to teach for classes 1 to class 5 will have to write only paper 1 candidates who plan to teach for class 6th 7th and 8th class 6th 7th and 8th such candidates they should write paper 2 okay i will repeat again candidates who plan to teach for classes 6th 7th and 8th should write paper 2 in case if the candidate is willing to teach all the classes from class 1 to class 8 such a candidate should take both papers paper 1 and paper 2 okay so i recommend you all to write both papers paper 1 and paper 2 when you are writing the exam you will have to increase little bit of more preparation and you can easily crack this exam paper 1 is easier paper paper 2 is little little bit tougher when compared to paper 1 i am telling you on the basis of the question papers see you can see in my youtube channel if you want i will give the links in the description i have solved maths and physics question papers of karnataka tet 2021 very soon i am going to solve the biology and chemistry papers also i will upload that also in my youtube channel you can go and watch i will give the link in the description based on those question papers i am telling you paper one will be dead easy dead easy when compared to paper two paper 2 is little bit tougher but then that is also only i think up to gpstr level only okay if you all are wishing you can watch the gpstr classes also i have uploaded many gpstr classes almost all portion i have covered 
so you can watch them also those classes will be very very helpful for you all for a karnataka tet examination okay so i would recommend you all to apply for both the papers and write both paper 1 and paper 2 okay oh no one more important thing which i wanted to tell you is see what is the qualifying percentage of this exam because this is a teachers eligibility test right means one who will write this exam and qualify the exam will be eligible for the government jobs sometimes they will give the eligibility criteria that the candidate should have cleared tet or karnataka tet right so that's why you all write this paper this exam karnataka tet exam if you get 60% and if you belong to general category then you qualify this exam what will be the marks out of 150 if you score 90 marks that will be more than enough for you to clear this exam you will have the qualifying certificate then okay if you belong to SCST, obc or you are belonging to pwd the physically handicapped thing then for 55 percent only you qualify for karnataka tt means if you score 82.5 marks out of 150 then you will qualify karnataka tt okay so let me give you one quick glance of the exam pattern also First of all, who is conducting this exam? Karnataka government is conducting, right? Department of Public Instruction. They are giving you the uh, prescribed Karnataka syllabus every year. But uh, I don't think there will be many change. Maybe some very minute change which will not affect you at all. With the right now syllabus which we have, which I will upload in the Telegram channel. With that syllabus only, I assure you, I guarantee you that you will clear this exam with 60% marks. Okay. And what is the pattern of the exam? It is MCQ based means multiple choice questions will be there. One mark will be given for every correct answer. There will be no negative marking. For total of 150 questions, you will have two and a half hours. Okay, two hours 30 minutes will be given. You will have to finish the question paper in that time. Okay, once again, I would like to remind you all that I have uh, uploaded many classes on HSTR, CRIS and GPSTR and uh, Nowadays, I am also solving the question papers of Karnataka TET and very soon maybe I will upload new classes also. If you want any particular topic to be explained based on Karnataka TET, you are free to write it in the comment section or in the telegram channel or you can also mail me at atharparveen at the rate gmail.com a-t-a-h-a-r-p-a-r-v-e-e-n at the rate gmail.com okay either you mail me or you write me in the telegram channel we have a discussion group also in the telegram channel there also you can write or you write down just in the comment section below this video that will also do okay i will try to upload as many classes as you want as per your demands okay and also please uh, don't forget to like and share this video and also please do subscribe to this channel because that is the small effort which i expect from you all because i get motivated how do i know that my classes are helping you all that is the only one way either you subscribe the channel or you like or share the videos then only i will understand that my videos are helping you right so okay friends then all the best uh, please do start preparing right now i believe that many of you who want to write karnataka tet have been maybe gpstr aspirants or want to be hstr or cris aspirants see all exams have more or less same syllabus means similar syllabus only is there little bit uh, maybe some easy questions will be there some medium or maybe some tough questions will be there in other exams but then your preparation will not change right so i would recommend you all to apply for as many exams as possible now Karnataka TD notification has come. You apply for it. You write the exam. You get the experience also. And if you do well, you will clear the exam also. Okay. Again, HSTR, we are waiting for the notification. And CRIS also, we are waiting. Once that notification comes, you apply for that also. Anyway, you will have prepared for Karnataka TD, right? That preparation will help you a lot to write this HSTR and CRIS exams also. 
and uh, we are also hearing that the gpstr also will be conducted in february 2023 for that also preparation will be going on so don't stop these exams should be just your milestones but your preparations shouldn't stop friends okay so whatever i can do from my side i will help you i will teach you i will analyze the question papers whatever you need you just write down in the comment section the topics which you all want i will surely clear your doubts and also i will make things easier for you by explaining them okay okay then all the best thank you bye